Here we are discussing about bearings. First, what is meant by bearing? Okay, a bearing is an angle measured clockwise from north. It is given using three digits. That is in bearing. When we are writing bearing, that time use three digits. Suppose the value is 60. Then that time write your answer as 0, 6, 0. Okay, the next one is a bearing is an angle measured clockwise from north. That is that angle is we are measuring that angle from clockwise from north. That is there are two direction we know clockwise direction and anti-clockwise direction. Then here we are using clockwise direction from the north. Okay, then we are using the north direction. In all case we are taking the upward direction as north direction. That is upward direction we are taking as north direction here. Okay, then we can check one example here I, I have taken two points that is a and b two points then if, here we need to find the bearing of b from a that is measure the bearing of b from a to measure the bearing of b from a the first step is join these two points a and b then we can join that two points A and B. Now you can check the question. Measure the bearing of B from A. That means from A. That means we need to measure at which one. If it is a from A means we need to measure at A. That means we need to find at A. Angle at A. Then so at A draw one north direction. That is north. Okay we are taking upward direction as north. Okay. Then you can check here the measure the bearing of B from A. That is from A means we need to find angle at A. Okay. Then we know this is a bearing. Bearing case there are two angles. One is clockwise angle. The another one is anti-clockwise angle. Then but in bearing case use clockwise angle. That is this angle here we need to find. Okay. Is the clockwise angle from north that is this angle we need to find here to find that angle we can use one protector okay then we can protect we can keep that protector on this north line like this we can keep okay now you can check this angle what is this angle then is starting from 0 then 0 10 20 30 40 50 is coming like this then this value we can just because you can see here this point is not correct it's not exact then we can keep on which one the correct vertex then it will come like this okay now it's correct then we can start from here 0 10 20 40 60 is coming like this then what is the value here this value is 100 that means that bearing is 100 then we can mark that one that value 100 degree that means we can write like this the bearing of b from a is 100 degree that is the answer the next you can check one another type question okay listen this is another question c is on a bearing of 70 degree from a and on a bearing of 320 degree from b mark the position of c okay first thing is c is on a bearing of 70 degree from a that is this 70 degree angle is at a okay then on a bearing of 320 degree from b that is this angle is at b clear then first one first we can mark this part that is ang at a we can make one angle 70 degree for that we can use one protector and we can keep protector here then this angle is 70 degree at a then we can take 0 up to which one is 70 then here draw one straight line yes is 70 degree the same way the next part the next part angle at b what is angle at b that is a bearing of bearing the bearing that is c is on a bearing of 320 degree from b that is we need to mark 320 at angle at b okay that is this 320 degree angle but we know in calculator okay we can we can mark this part 
that is 70 degree then we know in protractor in protractor case the maximum is 180 degree but 320 degree is not possible then we can take this part in another way that is this clockwise angle is 320 degree then what is anti clockwise angle at which way we can find anti clockwise angle we know angle around a point is 360 degree then just subtract this 320 from 360 we will get that answer 40 degree okay then we can mark this this is a 40 degree this is an anti clockwise 40 that is angry anti clockwise angle then we can mark that anti clockwise angle like this keep your protractor left hand side if it is a clockwise angle case we are using which one keep protractor right hand side of north line but in anti clockwise time keep which one left hand side of north direction okay then we can take that one 40 degree then we know this is 0 10 20 30 40 it will come here then we can draw one straight line here that is it will come like this okay now you can check this angle is is 40 degree we need which one c is on a bearing of 320 degree from b at b that is at b that bearing that angle is which one 320 degree you can check this one we we need this angle that angle is which one 320 which way we can find that angle we know this angle 40 degree if this angle 40 degree which way we can find this angle angle around a point property that property use okay because we know angle sum of angle around a point is 180 360 degree the sum of angle around a point that is 360 degree that sum is 360 degree then to find the another angle subtract this 40 from 360 then we will get this value 320 degree that is that bearing bearing always take which one north direction north that is from north direction take clockwise direction from north take clockwise direction that is that clockwise direction is 320 degree that is this is 320 degree okay why we use we have 40 degree because in calculate in not calculator in protector we can't we can't take 320 degree because in protector case the maximum is 180 degree that's why we first selected which one this part okay first we completed this part because the anti-clockwise if it is a clockwise angle 320 degree means anti-clockwise angle how many degree 40 degree that is 360 minus 320 40 degree then first draw that one by using anti-clockwise angle draw that line then this angle will be which one 320 degree that is the bearing of c from bearing of c bearing of c from b is how many degree 320 degree now we mark that to part okay the first one is 70 degree at a then 320 degree at b now these two lines are meeting one single point this point is which one is the point c is the common to which one these two line that point is which one c okay then we can move to the next problem okay then this question find the bearing of the here given the bearing of b from a is 100 degree b from a means where is that angle that angle is at a that angle is 100 degree okay the bearing of b from a means that angle is at a that angle is 100 degree then find the bearing of a from b we need to find the bearing of a from b that means we need to find the angle at b which type of angle that is a clockwise angle at b okay then here the question is find if the question is measure means that time you can use which we can use which one protector but if the question is find that time use the property okay parallelogram property or trigonometric property use that property and find the value here in this case we can't use protector because if the question is find if the question is measure that time use protector if the question is find uh, that time use properties and find the answer okay for that here we can mark that angle 100 degree this angle is 100 degree we can mark that part 100 okay then here we need to find the angle at b that is bearing of a from b that means angle at b from b means angle at b we need to find which type of angle that at b angle that is a clockwise angle from north that is this angle we need to find here okay for that first i'm going to extend this north line this line then i'm going to extend this north line I'm going to extend this line also okay then here you can see these two lines are 
parallel. That is, these two lines represent north. That's why these two lines are parallel. Then we can use parallel line property. If this angle 100, then in which way we can find this angle? These two angles represent co-interior angle. We know the property of co-interior angle. Sum of that two angle is 180 degree. Then if this angle 100 degree, then in which way we can find this angle? Subtract this 100 from 180. That is 180 minus 180. That is this angle is 80 degree. 100 plus 80, 180. Okay. The next, this angle. Now we got this angle 80 degree. Then in which way we can find the this angle? Okay, we can check that part. You can check here. We used the last problem case. We used that property. We know angle around a point. What is that one? Sum of angle around a point is 180, not 180, 360. Angle on a straight line is 180 degree. Angles around a point. Sum of angles around a point is 360 degree. That is this sum is 360 degree we know one part is 80 degree then which way we can find other part then to find other part subtract this 80 from 360 degree because angles around a point sum of angles around a point is 360 degree then subtract subtract that 80 from 360 we will get 280 that is this angle is 280 degree then that means this the angle means is a from where this angle starting from north starting then which type of angle that angle is say clockwise angle okay clockwise angle then th that is 280 degree that means the bearing of a from b is 280 degree the bearing of a from b is 280 degree that is the answer Thank you.